Alright, what is going on you guys? My name is Vafris and today I've got a little bit of a Loot Crate surprise for you. So, I mentioned early that last month that I did receive, or didn't receive it, but I did order the Fallout 4 Limited Edition Loot Crate. And let me tell you guys something, this thing is fucking huge! Like, why? Why is this? I can't even tell, like, it's... Like, what? It's so big. Let me just, for comparison, comparative purposes, let me set this on my... Okay. Let me set this on my desk for a second. And this is just a random old Loot Crate box that I grabbed. Like, just... I can't even get the whole thing in frame with, like, how close I am to my desk and stuff. But regardless, this thing is massive, and I actually had to grab a chair to set this thing on because I don't know how else I'm going to open it. But either way, let's set that back over here. And it is a Fallout 4 limited edition loot crate. I do know from, I mean, they get they told, they show you like a couple things that's in there. So I do know there's a Vault 111 sweatshirt and a dog meat plush. But other than that, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm really excited though. Let's open this thing up. If you guys don't know what loot crate is, it's a monthly subscription box that they, they can send out to your house um, full of like nerdy, geeky collectibles and stuff like that. They do t-shirts, which I'm actually not wearing one of those right now, but yeah. Um, so this one's kind of specific though. It was like, it's like normally they're about 20 bucks a month with shipping and handling. Uh, this one was specifically $100, but the normal ones have about 40 to $50 worth of stuff. This one has $150 worth of stuff, so. Um, let's grab the sweatshirt out of there right away. I can, you know, that one's obvious. I'm hoping that the size works because I've never gotten a loot crate from, or I've never gotten a sweatshirt from loot crate, obviously. So I'm hoping that the, the size is good. I don't remember what size I got. Oh, that's okay. But all right. So. It's a Vault 111, Vault 111 sweatshirt. It's just a regular, I don't know, it's a hoodie. Right. Big yellow hood, and then the blue, and then there's a giant. Um, this is hard. Vault 111, the number on the back. Let's go put this thing on really quick. All right, so yeah, the sweatshirt actually does fit pretty nice. The uh, it's kind of thin, which is actually kind of good. I like uh, the thinner sweatshirts for some reason. Um, just well, mostly for like the winter and fall, or not winter, but the fall and like spring times. So I like this sweatshirt a lot. It fits really good. The sleeves are, you know, good length. It's not too short or too long at the bottom. I don't know. I don't really know what to say about a sweatshirt other than the fact that it's Fallout and it's Vault 111. And it rhymes, or like makes me feel like I'm wearing a um, Vault 111 jumpsuit. Thank you. All right. So, and then we have also the, the dog meat plush, which it's in plastic. So let me get that out of there. All right. Dog meat plush with some goggles that don't actually line up on the eyes very well. And then a bandana and everything like just adorable. I have to make sure my dogs don't eat this because I will be very upset. But if they do end up getting to it somehow, I will let you guys know. Okay. Alright, so reaching in the box now, it's like way over here, I'm sorry. Um, there's a little box here, so let's see what that is. All I can see is it says Bethesda and Made in China. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, Pip, or Vault Boy Coaster Set, Fallout 4 Coaster Set. This is good, this is good because, you know, as an adult, you're required, if you come over to my place, to use a coaster except for me I don't I don't know it's just okay but we got coasters now we got some we got some new coasters well damn these things are like actually they're like heavy duty they're they're like thicker than I thought I figured they'd just be like kind of cheap and not really cheap but like <clears throat> thin and not really like I, they're like rubbery almost I thought they were just gonna be like little paper ones almost but, so we got a Vault Boy one, and a Vault 111, 
and the uh, like a Nuka Cola girl. And then a Vault Tech Industries, which we could just throw this one out right now. Alright, and reaching in the box again, I feel another little box, but let's go with something that's covered in plastic because why not? So this thing is This is all I've seen so far, so I don't know it's got a really weird material to it. Oh, you know what? It's a flag. Which, this is actually like impossible to fully get on camera because it's massive. So I'm just going to go like this. <laughs> Hope for the best. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and put up a picture on screen right now of this right over here. I'll, I'll lay it out on the uh, in the living room and take a picture of it so that I can put it up on the video. But yeah, it is a Brotherhood of Steel, it looks like, which I think it's upside down for the video, too, right now. But Brotherhood of Steel flag, so that's really cool. Get that set off to the side here. And we got the little, little thing. I'm assuming this is going to say what's in it, so I am not going to grab that right away and ruin the surprises. <clears throat> Another little box, like I said, and then there's this tube. Now, I'm assuming posters right off the bat whenever I see a tube with uh, with loot crate, but this one's, like, a little different. I don't know. It's hard to get open. So, yes, there is, there is a poster. Oh, okay. It's a Nuka Cola girl again with standing next to a big giant bottle. I really want them. Like, I really wish that Coke, Coca Cola, would have made like a glass bottle like this, just with like the Coca Cola symbol where the Nuka Cola is, just for like the, the Fallout release. That would have been amazing. Or, I mean, they can do it now too. I don't, I mean, I'm not picky. I would still have one. And then it looks like there's another one in here too. Yeah, two posters. Two posters and this one is so like power armor poster that's really cool how it, wow I actually really like that how it's not it, it's not really like super detailed let's see if I can get that like it's not like super detailed like with the tools and stuff on the bench and whatnot but like it just it looks really cool. Yeah, I like that one a lot. All right, so let's grab this little box because the last thing is huge. Like I don't know what the hell that is, but it's big. So next we've got <clears throat> a collector pin set. All right, so we have these are the these are the four pins. Whoa, we got a Vault Boy face, I guess. Um, the Red Rocket Gasoline Diesel Fusion logo. I don't know. A Vault 111 pin, which has got a cool little cool little outer. It's not just a circle, but the, like, the vault door pattern. And then a Brotherhood of Steel pin as well. All right, and the last thing that we've got here is this, whatever this massive thing is that takes up the whole bottom of the, of the box. But... It is definitely something vault related. What are you? So it is a vault 111. It's actually a messenger bag. like a really big giant vault 111 messenger bag that I'm gonna go use to you know be a wasteland courier and deliver all the messages
I've never actually owned a messenger bag. Like, I know, um, back at, like, the end of, like, when I was in middle school and the beginning of high school, like, all of my friends, like, backpacks, backpacks weren't cool anymore. Backpacks were a thing of the past, and everyone had freaking messenger bags, and I never had one. I never got one, so I don't, I don't know. But now I have a messenger bag, and it's Fallout, and it's awesome, so I'm just picking up my coasters. But, yeah. So, that was... Oh, if you want to see the box, it's like, it's like a little Nuka-Cola machine that I could probably turn inside out. That, But it's just... That's that's a lot of work at the moment. But, yeah, that is the, the Fallout 4 limited edition loot crate. Um, oh, yeah, we forgot the little brochure. So, yeah, it was just... It gives you an overview of what everything was in it. So, really quick, we've got the... Uh, exclusive Vault 111 Messenger Bag, the exclusive Fallout 4 Collector Pin Set, Brotherhood of Steel Flag, Fallout 4 Collector Poster Set, uh, Vault 111 Hoodie, exclusive Dog Meat Plush, and exclusive Fallout 4 Coaster Set. So yeah, that is a... T <laughs> I like how in the corner it says a $2,700 cap value or $150 or 150 plus USD. So, for anyone who wants to do the math, 150 US dollars equals 2,700 caps. So, if you guys want to do that math and find out what the conversion rate is down to like a dollar or something like that, leave it in the comments below. I think that'd be pretty cool. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm super excited about all the Fallout 4 stuff that I have now it's all gonna just add nicely to the rest of the the rest of my nerd filled house um, <laughs> so let me leave me a comment let me know what your guys' favorite thing was from the video or from the uh, the Fallout 4 crate I have to say you know the dog meat plush on the, the hoodie are obviously great things but I knew what they were so the biggest thing that I like coming in or out of it probably has to be like the two the two little things like the coaster set and the pin set I don't really know which one I like more but the, these are just really cool things that I, I wasn't really expecting so yeah again let me know what your guys favorite thing was I, I would love to see you know the kind of things that you would have would have liked to get if you were to get the, the Fallout 4 crate and for those of you who did get the Fallout 4 crate congratulations to you and you know, I, I understand the, the need to spend the, the $100 for it, obviously. But either way, thank you guys again for watching. I will talk to you guys at the end of the month still. I will have uh, December's Loot Crate as well as December's Level Up Wearable. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. It should be right around the last Saturday of the month as, as long as everything gets here in time. And I will talk to you guys then.